Hey, what's going on friends? My name is John Waldman. I'm a filmmaker based in New York, and today I want to talk about my favorite mic for the Sony FX3. You can use it with any Sony Alpha camera. Pretty sure it should be compatible even with some of the older gen models. All right, so this is an electronic hot shoe mic, which right off the bat, no cables are needed. I have been searching for a mic that would work for the FX3, particularly with a gimbal. When you attach the top handle on there and put the XLR mic, it just becomes a little bit too big. And you know, with the FX3 on a gimbal, I like to keep it a little bit more minimal. So this mic, Cures that uh, just because sometimes I do want that natural sound. And again, I've done research, I've tried different mics, and this is the one that I came across. I really like there's three different modes for how directional you want it. The top one being the most directional, and then the second one being a little wider, and then the third one being even wider. I kind of like that option. Depending on what my scene is, what I'm shooting, I can change that. So that's really dope. And then also the so I usually wind up just keeping it on auto because it's really smart and really good. You know, you could change the decibels, there's a filter, and NC filter is a noise cut filter, so some noise canceling, maybe you have like a crazy background and you just need to dial in on whatever the sound is you're trying to get closer, that's what that is. Anyways, the build quality of this is awesome. There's a ton of functionality. This thing is so small and light for like a hot shoe mic, it is so tiny. You don't need any batteries for this, it powers via the cam, you just put it in the hot shoe and instantly it turns on, there's no on off switches. And that's like one of the things I absolutely hated about a lot of road mics is just like, you had to put that battery in and I feel like all those mics that I have, it was always such a pain in the ass to like get that clip off and then get the battery in. So I love, all you gotta do is power this, your camera, it powers it automatically. I love that. Having a hot shoe mic makes sense for my kit. I have an FX6 and an FX3. The FX6 doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack, so the versatility of this hot shoe within my kit, it works really nice. And I like actually using this also as a backup source on my FX6. I'll just kind of pop it right on top and keep it on auto levels. So that's a nice backup option for when I need that. And yeah, so when you get this, it comes with a cap for the hot shoe, comes with a dead cat for the mic, and it comes with a nice little case. So it's very well packaged. And yeah, along with its sleek design, it comes in a nice kit. I've used this on a gimbal for a documentary that I'm working on, and I was actually pretty happy with the results that you get just from this. It is a fantastic mic considering its size and price, I guess, compared to, you know, maybe the Sennheiser mic. Yeah, I think this is a really good option for documentary filmmakers, content creators, weddings and events. This is an amazing on-camera mic solution. Again, the primary use for me was just having a mic to put on my FX3 on a gimbal without a big form factor and a funky you know, balancing package. It works great for that. I'm very happy I picked it up. I'd love to it's see what you're doing. doing. Yeah, I'm bro. proud of you. Continue to do what you're doing. I'm trying, bro. I'm really trying, sir. It's your wings, man. Yeah, bro. You see, sir. I'm about to really, that's why I had to come on deep and make sure I show, sir. Like, this is the real hood I grew up in, bro, bro. Yeah, you see this one? This one of my shits right here I made you, bro. You see that? No joke, baby. It's good. All right, so ignore the bad lighting in here. So I have this on auto, the noise canceller is off, and right now what I wanna do, the AC is on very quiet, I wanna put it on, and then I'm gonna put the noise canceling on, so maybe this will be a good test. So the AC is on now, uh, I put the noise canceller on. Uh, let's actually even go a little closer. Ignore my messy apartment, we're getting ready to shoot some more content tomorrow, but the AC is right there, I have the mic directed this way, the noise canceling is on. This is no filter, so there should be a pretty significant difference. And this is with the noise canceling filter. Now I'm gonna change it, hang on, to the bottom mode where the mic kinda is all around. Let's say you're in like an ambient environment and you wanna capture some of that sound, or noise canceling on, you have the directional mic going, you wanna go vlog style, um, then this would be 
the mode. I keep catching myself looking over here. This is weird. I never vlog. Uh, anyways, guys, that's about it. I uh, hope this was a helpful test. Whoosh. And now before you guys say, oh, but John, I want the top handle. And what about the XLR mic? Yeah, so this is the Sony ECM VG1. This mic, when I keep the top handle on my FX3, this is my mic of choice. This thing is excellent. It's only 200 bucks. I've used this even, I remember one shoot I had, I forgot my Sennheiser mic and I just used this as a regular boom mic and it worked great. So between this, I have a lot of different audio options between my FX6 and my FX3. I'm a firm believer in backups. I always like to have backups, even though I'm always gonna wind up using that, you never know. And also when you're in a pinch, let's say you're in like a dock setting and you just have one of these mics on, you're gonna be good to go with some very usable audio. All right, let's talk about a couple of cons. I think this is $350, which I guess if you're gonna compare what this mic is, like an on-camera mic, that is definitely on the more expensive end. Video is a business for me, this makes me money, and this as a tool makes sense and makes my life a little bit easier, so I think the price, it's worth it for me, but it might not be worth it for you. Maybe you say, hey, John, I could get a Rode mic for 150 bucks, and then yeah, you, and might be just about the same quality, you might be right. Number two, it is Sony proprietary. In my case, I'm very okay with that, but a $350 mic that you could only use with these Sony cameras, that's kind of a bummer. And then the third one, when you kind of put it in, it's like, it could be a little bit flimsy. It kind of dances around a little bit. You won't hear any of that in your audio, but it is something to note. All right guys, that's about it for today. I hope this video was helpful in some way. I love this mic. Images are great, but you need good audio. So make sure you're investing in good audio gear too. Do you have this mic? Will you be picking one up? Do you have another mic that you like or prefer over this? I'm looking forward to what you guys think in the comments. Anyways guys, that's about it for today. Whoopsh, cheers. Bye.